If you are looking for a cheap and easy way of viewing the Ring doorbell, this solution could be for you. Our setup cost about £50 for the tablet and the case, making this solution affordable to anyone. The first thing you'll need is the tablet itself. You can choose the Fire 7, 8, 10, or any of the children's ones shown here. I've chosen the Fire 7 as it was $34.99 and came in a range of colours. I'll leave a link in the description below. Next, I chose a case um, just to give it a bit of stability and just for ease of use. I chose this one, it was only $12.99. And then, as you can see, if you price both these items together, it's $47.98. In the description below, there is a link to our website where you'll be able to download all the files required. Using the Fire tablet, visit this link and download the files in the order they are listed. This will allow you to sideload the Google Play Store and all apps onto the device. First of all, you will need to download the Google Account Manager APK, then the Google Services Framework APK, the Google Play Services APK, and if you have a, a Fire 8D, 8 from 2017, you will need a different version, that's also linked. And finally the Google Play Store APK. They must be downloaded and installed in that order to work. By clicking each link you will be taken to a page where if you scroll down you will find a download APK button. Once you click this, the download will begin. Once it is completed, you will see the option to open the file. Do this one at a time. If that doesn't work, you can go to the Docs app on the tablet, go to Local Storage and the Downloads folder in there will show all the APK files. Once you click on these, you will get an option in the bottom left there to install. Do check you are installing the correct file and the file name will be in the top left hand side. You will need to download the Automator app, the Fully Kiosk browser and the Ring app as well. Once you've installed the automated app, you next need to create some notification triggers. The first trigger you need to create is that when there has been a notification from the Ring app, that after a minute it will open the Fully Kiosk browser again. By doing this, the picture frame will return to the state it was before the Ring doorbell activated. This will mean you'll have your weather station, your calendar and whatever pictures you're displaying on the device itself. The other rule you need to create is when there is a trigger notification from Ring itself, it will load up the Ring application. There is no need to put in a delay time for this. OK, next you go to Dackboard and you sign up for a free account. A Dackboard you might have seen in doctor surgeries, hotels or businesses where there are lots of different meeting rooms is a way of displaying information. You can have the time, you can have the weather in the local area, custom messages and also a calendar events. Once you've created your account in Dagboard, you will be taken to a dashboard. From here you'll be able to edit the screen itself. Initially you can choose five different layouts here, big calendar, big time, left or right, top or bottom, depending on how you'd like that, and then you have to click save changes at the bottom there. Background, you can choose whatever photo you'd like to be changing every couple of minutes. You can choose DAC photos, Apple photos, Instagram etc. How long they refresh and if they're full screen etc. Next you can choose calendars whether or not you want them on or off. Agenda mode or monthly mode, how many days to display. You can also add in your own custom calendars. Next you can choose what date and time to display. You can enable it or disable it. I've chosen London, England here. You can also choose 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock. Next you can choose your weather, where you like it and which weather source. You can also feed in news, to-do lists, a custom message. And in the settings area you can also change the name of the board itself and there's the private URL link which you will need to copy to the Fire 7. Now that we've edited the board, if you click the top right, you can view the board itself. You can see we've got the time there, 
the weather and a picture in the background which will refresh every two minutes. You can also add calendars, news feeds, etc. This is what you expect to see when you push the ring doorbell. After a couple of seconds you will hear the chimes, etc. inside your house. About four or five seconds later you will see this picture on the tablet. After about a minute after that it returned back to its original state. So in real time now you hear the chimes and then a couple of seconds later the video displays on the tablet itself. So once you've finished setting up this tablet you can pretty much move it wherever you need it in the house. I have mine right by the door so I can see when I get there who's waiting for me. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. I do hope it is a project you found useful. Please subscribe, hit that bell notification, like and comment down below. And until the next time, cheerio from the Digital Connoisseur.